So now what I want to do is to make this thing fly around. So for a start, I need to see the timeline. I'm going to come down here and click on this to get my timeline back. You can see down here I've got a bar which represents the words. It obviously starts at naught and goes all the way up to, where is that, about four seconds. If I want it to be longer, just grab hold of the edge and drag. So let's make the whole thing about six seconds long. So as I'm dragging here, you can see some numbers just popping up here. So as soon as I let go, I can make sure it's exactly six seconds long. Still not doing anything. I want it to fly in, sit there for a bit and fly off again. So I'm going to do a bit of basic animation using these things up here. Now I can move the numbers around up here and it's moving the position on screen. So that's, see that's left, right, that's up, down, that's backwards and forwards. As soon as you let go, that's where the title stays. I could go through and set the position at various points, but I've got to turn keyframing on first. It's a bit like the layout of tool in Edius. All this will move it around, unless you turn keyframing on, you're just moving it all the way through. So what I'm going to do, for a start, I'm going to come over to the timeline here and click on the little triangle and just open up the text and open up the 3 tree transform where I can see tracks for each of the different parameters, as in translate, rotate, so on and so on. I'm going to stick the cursor at the start, and I'm going to come over here and click on the little stopwatch to turn on animation. That puts a keyframe at the start. And I'm going to grab it and move it off screen. Now I'm going to move along a bit, say to about here. This is where I want to stop it flying in. And then you'd think the obvious thing would be to grab it and move it, and that'll create an animation for you. And as you noticed, it hasn't. And the reason for that is quite simple. It's all down to this little button. With this little button here, you've got two modes of displaying the window up here. One is this sort of setup mode where you can design what the typeface looks like and another mode which shows you animations and that switches between them. It switches between effect editing and graphics editing. As soon as you're in effect editing, then as you change stuff, it puts in keyframes. But if you're not in effect editing, you move it around and it doesn't put in keyframes. Now I could manually stick a keyframe in. Just like with Edius, both up here and down here on the timeline, I've got the thing that toggles animation on and off. I've got something which will jump between different keyframes. And if I go to any particular point, I can click on that and it'll add in a keyframe. If there's a keyframe already there, you click on it and it takes it away again. So I can put keyframes in when I'm not in the effect editing mode. But it's a lot easier to do when you're in effect mode. As soon as you go into effect mode, then no matter what you do, it's putting in keyframes for you. Okay, I've made a right mess of those. I'm just going to get rid of them. So I'm going to go over to them, click on one, press delete. Press delete. Or drag a box over the ones I want to do, and again press delete. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be in effect mode, and I'm going to say, right, at this point here, at about two seconds or so, that's where I want it to have come to rest. And I'm going to stick in a keyframe of where it is right now. I'm then going to pop back to the start, so now I'm at the very first keyframe, grab hold of it and move it off screen. And you can see now, flies in. Right, at about this point, I'd like it to fly off. So again, I'm gonna stick it at a keyframe there. So between those two keyframes, it's in exactly the same place. And then move along a bit and say, right, fly off over there. Now play that animation. Comes in, flies off. Pretty simple. So it's very linear, very dull the way it moves in there. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this particular keyframe here, which is where it lands, and right click on it and change the interpolation. So you can say you got uh, you can speed it up, speed it down, or ease in and out. I'm just going to click on ease in and out. You might notice there the way that it's a little bit less robotic. So you can choose from any of these. Linear is, is straightforward, very computery. Speed up and speed down. Do what they say. They either speed it up as it goes into the keyframe or slow it down. And ease in and out is a very easy way of just doing a, a slightly less robotic motion. Constant is the equivalent of hold in Edius. Now this particular keyframe, it's not going to make any difference at all. If I click on constant, what it does is it says, stays at that value all the way from there to this keyframe. Now this keyframe happens to be exactly the same as that one. So you don't notice any difference. But if I was to do something fancy there, like grab hold of it and move it up and down. Now with an ease in and out set, you can see what happens there. It just flies between the different keyframes. 
If I choose constant, you'll notice what happens is it flies into there, sits there for a bit, and all of a sudden it jumps to where that second keyframe is. That's what constant does. It's the same kind of interpolation and everything else that you get when you're inside of Edius. Anyway, I've made a right mess of that now. I'd like this keyframe to be exactly the same as that one. So I'm just going to go to this one, copy it, jump to the next one, paste it. And I'm back with my animation. You'll also notice that there's a custom value, which actually gives you a curve. It's going from the start to the end of the keyframe, and you can fiddle around with that and change how it moves around. I'm just going to leave it on easy in and out for now. When you actually look at the path that I've got up here, you notice a very angular path. I can come up to the join here and right click and I can do things like smooth the vertex. So I can have a smooth vertex or a sharp vertex. And I can also choose the interpolation just by clicking on the point. So very simple, that's how you'd animate something. Of course I could animate the rotation and I can animate the scale. You can just click on any of these to turn on the animation and change them accordingly. You've also got transparency down here. Let's go to the start, turn on the keyframing of transparency, move to about a second in, stick in another keyframe, go back to the start, move it down to nothing. So in other words, a fading in as they fly in. So that's it, I've set the entire animation up for the whole set of words.